Artifactors Union. We're going to get started on the Ford and Back box. My, probably my favorite box out of 2022. It's really gorgeous, but pretty difficult. We're going to go and start with Lady Justice Death Touch. This is our artwork. And here is our render. I feel like Death Touch is a bit of a misnomer because obviously she's the one doing the touching here. Here's our sprue, and we're going to go ahead and build everything besides Justice and then Justice herself and connect the two bits. Oh, hell yeah, the bits are numbered. D1. D15 fits snugly in the top. And close up the coffin with D7. Turn it around, look at the bottom, you see where D3 connects. You can see a little nubbin. Them combined. Still looking at the back of the coffin, D8 will go in this space right here. Extra fits nice and snug, just remember dry fitting's your friend. Lastly, D2 will go right there. The hollow part of the bit will be on the ground. There we go, I do recommend using plastic cement on both sides of the bits and pressing and squeezing them together to make sure it's nice and tight. D12 is actually our zombie friend's neck, like so. Makes a nice connection point for the head. When clipping and cleaning, make sure that you don't cut off this bit sticking out of the skull that is actually the end of the sword. Here it is, cleaned up with the sword bit intact. Here it is, attached, D4. And D11 to finish off our victim. C16. For D5, make sure you don't trim this bit on her toe too much, because that's a connection point. D9 goes across the butt. D14 goes on top. I recommend squishing the torso together to make sure it's connected. Combine D6 and D13 to make the head. Then add the head. You might need to use an X-Acto knife to push the neck to the back of the collar. I recommend clipping and cleaning D10 and C17 at the same time. We're going to add them quickly to Justice and then combine the whole thing. You might want the joints slightly malleable, so you can, like, nudge them into place. D10, C17. Connection point run down. The right foot goes right there, left foot there. The thumb and forefinger of her left hand goes in this uh, sort of crook right here. And then the sword point goes in this little hole. Here she is, Lady Justice Death Touched. It was, honestly, it was a pretty fun build. It's not as difficult as I remember doing it, but I also made some small mistakes the first time I built it. Just make sure the joints aren't fully set and you can sort of twist the legs and arms into the correct positions. Uh, enjoy. It's a gorgeous model and I'm looking forward to painting it. Artifactors Union Terra Timeless this time. Here is our artwork. And here is our render. Render doesn't do the best job of showing you what it's supposed to look like, but I'll give you a, I'll give you a good look. And here is the sprue. Lucky for us, everything is again labeled, which will make it easy for me to reference stuff. Few things of note, that you are effectively building three Terras, and they're all supposed to cram onto a 30mm base. Weird Games did a great thing here where they basically gave you one Terra that's independent of the other three, and so if you really don't want to deal with it, you can just build this one and put her on a 30mm. But we're better than that, right? Also, the most important thing is that they made sure that the hole in her chest was actually a hole. E9. The flash where it connects to the sprue is kind of awkwardly placed in each arm socket, so just take your time, get it nice and scooped out. For fun, let's switch up our normal order and start with the arms. This is E2. Just noticed a bit of a mistake on the sprue. It lists E1 through E9, but there's only 8 bits. Um, this arm could be E2 or E3 depending, but... Um, should be able to figure out which one it is. E5 on this side. E1, the back of the coat, fits pretty snugly. E4, the other leg. Okay, we'll assemble the head separate. This is E8, the biggest piece. Add E6, the face. Add E7, the rest of the hair and head. Um, it looks just sort of pop into place, but there's no great order to this. I just think this one is the easiest. And head. Well, the rest of the assembly I'll be referring to the other two as Back Terra and Middle Terra. This is the body for Back Terra, F12, and this is the body for Middle Terra, F11. Middle Terra, F11 plus F6, the coattails. F1, left arm. F3, the right arm. Combined F10 and F13 to create Middle Terra's head. And attach. The hair has a connection point to the collar. Keep that in mind. Okay, Back Terra, F12 and F8 to start. That, uh, that little hole there was just me trimming the bit poorly. F2, right arm. F4, right arm. F5 and F9 make the head and attach. Again, the hair has a connection point to the collar as well as the neck stump to the neck hole. Assemble the conga line. Start with back terra. Add our last bit, F7, the legs. 
Finagle Middle Terra on there. Note that Middle Terra's coat will tuck underneath Back Terra's coat. When you do eventually put them on the base, make sure they are scooted as far back to the edge as possible. While you don't have to glue all three together, if you need a connection point, I would recommend right here on Front Terra's coat. And here she is, Terra Timeless. Uh, full disclosure, I had an issue with the back head on Back Terra. So I ripped that off and I'm fiddling with it. This model is actually one I assembled earlier, but they look very similar. Yeah. Artifactors Union, forward and back box, 33. This is her artwork. And here is her render. Here is our sprue, much like Lady Justice, we're going to build the coffin and the base separate and 33 by herself, and then combine the two. Start with C3. Jam C10 in the back of the box. Next is C13, it goes right there. Uh, you might need to put some pressure on it to make sure it goes fully to the back of the coffin, but it's not that difficult. This is actually the tail of 33's coat, but obviously it's better to put it in here than try to attach it later. Next is the fiery base, and I'm going to often show you the bottom because that's a good way to make sure the pieces are lining up correctly. So here's the bottom of the coffin. The coffin will actually sit inside of C1 like this. C2 will sit inside C1 and also attach to the coffin. And that's what the base looks like. C9 follows the same pattern. And here's the bottom. Alright, when I remember doing this, I now realize I'm pretty sure it'd be easier to attach the legs now instead of doing 33 entirely by yourself. Connection points for the legs are right along there, and then that spot. Yeah, I think that was a good call. C12, the legs. C4 is next. Friendly reminder to make sure you've cleaned off all the bits of flash left over from the nubs. Uh, I had a hard time getting this connected and then realized I'd missed something. And the base. C9 back here is the last part of the base. Starting on actual 33, we take the torso. First thing we're going to do is going to add the chains, which are C7 right there. And they kind of fork. You will put the short end of the fork on top or facing up. Here is C7 added. Uh, if you couldn't tell, if you don't do this before other stuff, it's going to be a lot more difficult to put it on there. Combine C5 and C15 to make her head. Attach the head. Left arm, C14. Before I attach C11, I'm just going to point out where it goes. It will attach to the wrist. Part of it will attach to the chest and follow this line here. And then another part of it will actually go to the leg. There you go. Alright, before I put two together, connection points back here will connect to the coat tail legs down here. The chain coming out of the coffin will actually attach right uh, there, yes. And this part of this bit will attach to the leg. Okay, that ended up being a terrible idea. I had to rip off this part of the base and glue the legs to 33 and then jam that whole thing in. I'll conclude in part two. Ufta, I apologize for getting that terribly wrong, but uh, as long as you don't follow step by step, you should, still should be able to get it. Uh, difficult build, but my god, is this piece gorgeous. Look at her! Love it.